Good afternoon, eBay. Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, I don't edit, so I'm going to leave that in. Uh, mail day video. It's mail day video from Jeff Airtime. I believe last video I did uh, Mike Trout baseball. So it's time to get back to the roots. No baseball today. No football today. Uh, unless, of course, they're in this care package that I have off to my right here that we're going to open later in the video. So uh, that remains to be seen. I have five packages here. One, two, three, four, five. I've already pre-opened them to save some time because you guys know I'm a rambling man. I like to ramble, so I'll save time wherever I can. So let's get into it. First things first, package number one. Uh, okay, I know what this is. This is Michaela Schifrin. Michaela Schifrin uh, autographed cards. These are Sports Illustrated autograph cards. There are currently zero left on eBay. Um, and that's a big reason why I do go after these oddball, sort of, so to speak, uh, sports. Um, even like someone like um, Mookie Betts or Corey Seager, who congrats to the Dodgers who just won the World Series. Uh, Mike Trout, they all have um, hundreds, if not thousands, of autographs on eBay any given time uh, in terms of trading cards. Uh, the athletes that you're going to see here uh, don't. In fact, uh, Schifrin has none. Um, these were the only two available at the time. Uh, I got them for less than a, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, they're the same card. I got two because I'll flip one and I'll keep the other. Uh, you see that's authentic autograph from the 2017 Sports Illustrated series and uh, authenticated by BGS. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Michaela Schifrin is a, she's still young. She's only 25, I believe. She's a six-time World Cup slalom champion, including the, becoming the youngest ever when she was 18 years old in 2014. And she holds just about every major record in, in women's alpine skiing and actually she holds i think she has more world records than anyone skiing men or women uh in history could be wrong she might be second but she's right up there um so that's michaela schifrin uh next we have let me put michaela up there uh next we have okay speaking of olympics the greatest uh, in some people's mind, greatest athlete. Um, some people think the fastest man on earth is the greatest athlete. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with that, but anyhow, that is what Usain Bolt is. He's the the fastest man on the planet ever. He still holds the he's the greatest of all time sprinter, hands down. He still holds the world record in the 100 meter and 200 meter sprint. Uh, as, as well as being an eight-time gold medalist, 11-time world champion. Uh, his accolades go on and on. Sorry about the glare. It's terrible. Not the cleanest autograph. I can't really make out his name there uh, in the blue Sharpie. But uh, nevertheless, it is the Usain Bolt. And just like I was talking with the Schifrin, I believe at any given time there's only maybe one or two Usain Bolt trading cards uh, autographed available at any given time and sports illustrated is the only one uh, that he does have so that's usain bolt next we have i believe that's it on the olympics should just be should just be golf left and i should have did a better job of pre-opening this one um yep it is uh xander shoffley if you guys have seen my videos in the past uh, you know, I have a ton of autographed golf cards from uh, other golfers, but I hadn't had a Xander Shoffley yet. I really love this kid. He's going to he's gonna win a major sooner rather than later, I believe. And it, it could be next month in a few weeks at the Masters, of course, the November Masters this year. Uh, his irons are great. His long game is great. He's, I think he's the best putter on the tour. He's got ice water in his veins uh, on the green. I really love this kid's kid's makeup, and uh, I could definitely see him winning multiple majors. And uh, once he does, once he wins one, 
Um, you're talking triple, quadruple, five times the value on all his cards. Certainly his autograph. I believe this is, there's zero autograph cards of him currently on eBay. Uh, I got the only one available. And uh, I paid, I think I paid just under 200 for this one too. Seems to be the theme here uh, this afternoon. And, uh, this is 2017, 2017 uh, rookie card of Shoffley. And we have one more, or two more, excuse me. Uh, another autograph, or no, this one's not autograph. I only have one Tiger Woods autograph. That's the one I've shown before in my showcase. Uh, this is his rookie card from 1996. Look at that if you get up close here. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. This is graded a PSA 3. Uh, that's the thing with these Sports Illustrated cards. You cannot tell the difference between one graded a 3 and an 8 because uh, the perforations are all intact, uh, clean. Um, that's why you will really, other than 10s, which go for astronomical six digits, uh, you don't see a lot of variance in prices between anything from a 3 or a 4 to, to a 7 or an 8 because the cards are, you, you just can't tell. With, with the natural perforated edges, you really just, just can't distinguish one between another. Um, but this will be, be another long-term flip or short-term. If he retires soon, um, Tiger's cards will, will just go absolutely insane. Not that they haven't already, but um, they'll just go to the next level. And then lastly... I have, oh, sorry about that. I thought I opened all of them. I did not open this one. Actually, I think this one just came in today. The others came in earlier this week. That's probably why I missed. Uh, John Rahm. John Rahm, who just missed by one stroke winning this past weekend's uh, tournament out in L.A. Actually, it's uh, about 30 miles north of L.A., these are his rookie card from Sports Illustrated. I paid, I believe it was about 15 bucks a piece for these. Again, just like Shoffley, if he wins his first major at the Masters, these will triple, quadruple, uh, as much as even tenfold, uh, like Naomi Osaka did. Uh, I mentioned her in a previous video. Um, her cards went from just three, four dollars to uh, 100, 200 dollars when she won the U.S. Open. Uh, in tennis uh, two months ago. So that's John Rahm, picked up a few of his. All right, that's it for the non-baseball or football, I believe, because now, big shout out to my man, UNC Fester, Chris. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with Fester, check him out. Check him out. I'm going to leave his link below um, in the item description. Fester hooked me up with a a um, good size box here. This was actually a box inside of another box um, that he shipped it in. So I haven't even opened it yet. I just took this out of the box uh, that it came in. And I know some of the stuff in here because he asked me uh, what I what I needed, what I wanted, what I needed. And um, he said, we'll do. Um, he's a great dude. Check him out. I implore you, especially if you're a pack ripping fan. He opens up a ton of uh, baseball and football. He hasn't been able to uh, locate any ba uh, basketball, but he's been opening just a ton of baseball, football. I mean, you name it. He, he rips them all. Um, Chronicles, Optic, Bowman, Mosaic. He rips it all. And he does it all with his uh, son, Max, and which, which just makes the videos all the better. That's why I love him. Um, <laughs> I got a daughter. I wasn't blessed with a son. Um, love my daughter, but um, if I were ripping packs with my son, I think it would go a lot like uh, how Fester rips them with his son. Um, always correcting them, and his son's always pulling the better cards. It's always always a good time. So, again, check out my man Fester. A good time. Even though he usually went loses his pack wars to Max, uh, they're always great videos. All right. Enough rambling, and let's get on with, uh, see what Fester sent us here. Uh, note. Nice, awesome note from Fester. I'll read that off camera, and looks like several bricks of goodness. Now, maybe I should have opened this one, uh, pre-opened this one. 
Um, I know one thing I requested was because he's opened a ton of Bowman, and I said, I don't know if any of you guys have had this happen with. I, I don't open as much 2020 as or packs in general as everyone else, but I have a lot of stuff from the American League, National League, East and West. I said, any central cards you have, my central boxes are lacking faster. I know that sounds weird, but uh, send me some central cards. Um, so I know he hooked me up there. I got it. Looks, oh, a whole bunch of basketball, um, baseball there, football. He, Jalen Hurts. Uh, wow, this video is going to be long. Um, I'm just going to try to open everything first before I uh, before I send me some awesome some junk wax eighty. Oh, this is actually my favorite year of junk wax eighty seven um, with the Bo Jackson or Barry Bonds, and I think that's why he sent it to me. I think I had mentioned that to him, and if I'm not mistaken, um, oh yeah, the, and I remember him saying he was going to send this one to me because it has Wally Joyner. One of my all, probably my very first PC guy, uh, Wally Joyner. I sent down, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to open that one. But I'll definitely open the 387 uh, Wax. Get that out the way. Uh, this is like a, a Bradley Moore video. Rambling, rambling, on and on and on. <laughs> Just kidding, Bradley. Love you, brother. All right. This is, oh, I definitely have to, can't wait to get into this. Look at this. My man, Fester, come on. Hooked me up big time. Big thank you to you and Max for the 2020 Mosaic. Uh, these are just impossible to find. Uh, I know they certainly are around here. And I, everybody else having trouble finding them all as well. And uh, another brick here. Carlos Correa on the front. Jeez, Fester. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And... One more package to open here. Looks like we have some more team bags. More bricks. Um, this is going to be the... Oh, this is all chrome base that he sent me uh, for my central box. A ton of chrome base. And uh, some prism. Oh, wow. And uh, just looks like I'm... I got hit hard with the Carlos Correa. Um, where are we? 12 and a half minutes. Let's uh, see how quickly I can get into these. If you're sticking it out, thank you. appreciate it. Carlos Correa. This is uh, Archives. Gypsy Queen Correa. I couldn't even tell you which ones I have because I have so many Correas. If I had to guess, I probably have some of them and don't have some of them. These are from the uh, the ALCS in 2019, where his teammates were cheating. I don't think Correa was. I don't think Correa was. Did you see what Correa did in the playoffs this year? He was, um, I mean, he wasn't having a Randy Ruiz Arena type playoffs, but he, I think he had five or six bombs. Uh, hooked me up with some Don Russ, Don Russ, uh, Prism. A stadium club, Fester. Oh, he's the rookie card down at Tops. Uh, base, this is the update series. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I think I only have one copy of that card. And you know what I remember? He said, he said, I do I know who Morgan Bryan is? I said, yeah, she's a, a, a actually a very notable a member of the uh, FIFA the U.S. national team for women's, and he said he pulled a print and play. I did not know he was going to send it to me. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I have a uh, several Morgan Bryan cards. I certainly did not have that. That one is awesome. absolutely love that card. Um, more Correa, more Correa love. Speaking of Correa love, TLM hit me hard with the T with the uh, Correa. I think I got mail from TLM every day for like two straight weeks. A uh, big shout out to, to TLM as well for hitting me hard with in the Correa PC. Um, looks like he sent me some Ben Roethlisberger. I really like Ben Roethlisberger. I always pick his cards up whenever I can. Um, it, he, first ballot Hall of Famer. 
Um, and the Steelers are the only five and undefeated team in the NFL left. What are they? Five and zero or six and zero? I think five and zero. Uh, there's Jalen Hurts. Um, there was a lot of rumor earlier in the year that the Eagles uh, drafted Hurts to be the quarterback of the future, but Wentz has really come on strong lately. So hopefully he's quashed some rumors. But I really like Jalen Hurts. He really adds a lot to the backfield. Um, I hope they can work him in more. This I, I had a. I think I showed the card in an earlier video or live stream. Uh, this is my favorite player in the NFL, Alejandro Villanueva, the offensive lineman. I showed where I got his autograph card um, just for what he puts on the back of his helmet. If you don't know the story, check it out. Google it, and you'll know why Alejandro Villanueva. Uh, big props to Villanueva. Um, some 49ers, Jerry Rice. Always love Jerry, Jerry Rice. C.J. Henderson, rookie. Uh, Perrine rookie, LaMichael Perrine rookie, Van Jefferson, just rookie after rookie hitting me hard with the because <laughs> I, I this was I was joking with uh, the Gators are my new favorite team after what their coach did, uh, pretty much saying to hell with uh, the hell with COVID. Chase Claypool, pretty much the hottest rookie in the league right now. Nice Chase Claypool rookie, Jerry Judy, um, Chronicles rookie. I don't have any of these uh, wide receiver with Denver. Uh, DK Metcalf loved this kid. I'm still upset that the Eagles passed on DK Metcalf due to injury concerns, but what a beast he is. Uh, another Jerry. Oh, was Jerry Rice Mosaic. Certainly did not have that one. DK Metcalf Mosaic. Um, and you guys know my, my biggest football PC guy that I have, Tom Brady. Wow, wow, wow. Fester, thank you so much, man. This is an insane care package. You know I'm going to have to hit you back now, sending me this much. Um, P.J. Washington, rookie, Kyle Guy. Admittedly, I don't watch the NBA as much as I used to here. Carson Edwards, uh, Alexander Walker. AI, always love the AI card. This is an acetate card. This is a beautiful one right here. Uh, RJ Barrett, everyone's favorite. One everyone's one rookie that everyone loves to collect. Eric Pascal, uh, Joel Embiid. <laughs> Sixers have so much talent, but just cannot. Uh, I don't. They're going to have a new coach this year, so hopefully that uh, gets them going in the right direction. Matisse Thybul. Anthony Davis, the real reason why the Lakers won the uh, title this year. Um, and, of course, LeBron. Uh, Ty Jeremy, uh, another Joel Embiid. Cam Reddish. Giannis, the freak out of Chronicles. Tremont Water. I'm just going through these fast because there's so many of them. And they're awesome. Cards. Kobe White. Kobe, I know he's a uh, went to UNC. And, and um, Fester talks very highly of Kobe White, so I'm going to track his career very closely. And uh, Romeo Langford, rookie. Fester, Fester, thank you so much. Um, you know what? I'm not going to open the wax packs on this video, because, uh, and I'm not going to open the base. Uh, I will open, all right, they're top loaders. I will uh, open those ones. Try to keep this under a half hour, but no promises here. Um, another Jalen Hurts. This is the one I saw earlier out of DraftKings. A CD Lamb. CD Lamb, of course, he's on my fantasy team. He was doing really good for me when he had Dak as the quarterback, but now with Dalton out and the kids starting this weekend. I'm, I don't have high hopes for C.D. Lamb's numbers the rest of the year. C.D. Lamb out of prestige. I love. This is another guy. And even though he's a cowboy, um, I try not to be biased. Uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, I have a couple really, uh, really nice autographs of him. He's a beast, but the Cowboys are just in a terrible way right now. Really awesome. Tom Brady, Justin Herbert. Uh, me and Fester always go back and forth. I think Herbert might be the better quarterback for years to come instead of Burrow. Not that I don't think Burrow is good, but I just think Herbert, he's got the size. He's just he's just got it all. That's a really nice rookie for out of prestige. Chronicles, 
Fester hooking me up hard, man. Another Herbert. Got the Herbert uh, rookie rainbow here. This one when when he was with the the Ducks. Uh, rated rookie definitely did not have that one. Um, more Tom Brady's. Another ch Chase Claypool, and there's the aforementioned Burrow. Another Chase Claypool. Wow, Fester. Oh my man. Ah, as those cards just went all over the place. I'll pick those up later. And uh, one more brick. Well, actually, two more bricks uh, that I'm going to open here on camera. And uh, Nate Pearson. He was just, I think this was one of his pack rips. I said, put that Nate Pearson aside for me. I, I don't have many Nate Pearsons. Uh, big prospect. He was pitching well the first couple starts with Toronto this year, but then got sidelined with injury. So I really like that kid's future. He sent me the uh, Chrome. Uh, rookie as well, Bowman Paper. Oh, the mini. I got to have the Nate Pearson mini. I'll make an exceptions for players that I like, so I'll keep the Nate Pearson mini. Uh, this is his uh, minor league card from Buffalo Bisons. Of course, Blue Jays played in Buffalo this past year. This is the camo. Sent me all the Nate Pearsons. Uh, shout out to Card Hobbyist, everyone's favorite rookie, Cedric. <laughs> Uh, Ian Anderson uh, had a great playoff run for the Braves this year. Uh, Braves look to have a really good, solid rotation next year if Ian Anderson uh, can build on that at all. And this is also an Ian Anderson out of Bowman Chrome, Talent Pipeline rookie card. Kershaw Prism, Flaherty Prism. You know, guys know how I feel about Flaherty. Big fan of Flaherty. Walker Bueller, Langston. I said, anytime you see Langston in your junk wax, put it aside for me. I did a video a long time ago where I picked up his 84 updates and glossies and all that. Big Langston fan back in the day. Loved watching him pitch. So uh, that explains all the Langstons. Plus, I always loved the Expos uniform cards. I, same thing, Wally Joyner. I said, any Wally Joyners, put him aside. Trent Grisham, rookie. Oh, he hooks me up with this card. This guy is just on fire with uh, with his prices going uh, through the roof. Randy Arena, another Ian Anderson rookie. So I have one, one, well, two more to open here. I don't know. I'm really loving that Morgan Bryan. Uh, where did you even get that, Fester? Print and play. Did you open? You opened some soccer leaf without telling me, Fester. What are you doing there on the down low? You're opening some uh, some soccer cards. All right, we got Carlos Correa, Blue Prism, Carlos Correa Illusion out of Optic, Chrome Correa, and Franchise Features Correa. This looks like the Refractor as well. Oh, with uh, Royce Lewis on the reverse. So you got the coming attractions, Royce Lewis, on the other side. A very nice card. Certainly did not have that. And then a few more top loaders. And we will get to the Mosaic. Carlos Correa tops Chrome. Carlos Correa Seppi. I definitely did not have that one. Very nice. So that one... Is called the Chrome Sepia, and then the regular Sepia. Definitely did not have either of them. Got the whole rainbow of Chrome Correa. Thank you so much. Hitting me hard in the PC, and a stamp of approval out of 150. Awesome, awesome relic card of Correa. Man, faster. Max, thank you guys so much. Love, absolutely love them. Every single one of them. Um, the wax, I'm going to open up off camera. I'm not going to open up this one. I'm going to keep that one. It's got the joiner. That's the joiner on the front there. Definitely going to keep that one intact. And then my bricks to add to my, my bind, not my binders. I don't, I don't do binders traditionally. I just keep them uh, separated in the boxes. And I, do, I have three boxes, AL West box or a West for the AL and NL Central and uh, East. So three boxes. That's just how they broke down this year. And here we go. Mosaic. 
I believe I opened one pack of these a couple of months ago, and that's the only mosaic I've even opened for the year. As I try to get my uh, camera not from dying on me. So here we go. 2020 mosaic. Even the base cards on these are just beautiful. I've watched DV, shout out to Dan, open up a bunch of these, Triple B, along with Fester. Uh, can't get enough of these. So I'll open the, the bonus uh, pink last and uh, let's see what we got. And the first one, how fitting. Uh, Fester, I won't hold it against you. He, he's a big uh, Dallas Cowboys fan. First one I got here is Emmett. Mark Andrews, shout out to Germany, Card Dreamer. Charles Woodson, what a great career he had. Uh, this one is flipped around. Oh, Duke. Johnson Jr. for the Houston Texans. Autographed out of Scripps autograph. Not bad. Not bad at all. Duke Johnson. Should have got my uh, soft sleeves out. Another Cowboy, Ezekiel Elliott and Keyshawn Vaughn. actually saw Keyshawn in a Tampa uniform, and I was going to say Keyshawn Johnson. Just had to grab his sleeve real quick. Put Mr. Duke Johnson in there. All right, pack number two. Tell me about Duke Johnson, Fester. I'm not a big NFL guy. They've really turned me off over the last couple of years. Uh, has he got big uh, potential or what? We have Aaron Rodgers, Christian McCaffrey, who uh, a lot of people got killed this year not having him on their fantasy team, taking him number one overall. What a beast. Ah, oh, there he is, the man, B Doc, Hall of Famer, one of the greatest hard hitting safeties ever. Uh, very beloved here in the Philadelphia area. B Doc, Brian Dawkins, nice, nice card. Uh, Kevin Green, another all time great. Drew Brees, shout out the field guy. Field guy likes to mess with me. And sometimes he likes to think Brees is the uh, goat, but uh, we all know it's Mr. Tom Brady. And a, a Calais Campbell of the Jags, Pro Bowler. And for our pink, for our pink. As I'm creeping up on a half hour, I said to myself, if I make it under a half hour, it's going to be a success. But I uh, don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And our three pink cards are Patrick Queen of the Baltimore Ravens, Roger Stallback. Roger Stallback. A um, lot of so many damn Cowboy fans out there. Um, if any of you Cowboy fans are interested in Roger Stallback, let me know. Ryan Tannehill. Uh, it's really come into his own, um, really in the upper echelon of quarterbacks in the league. And as I said earlier, Patrick Queen, uh, LSU, Baltimore Ravens. And that's going to do it I'm right at the 29-minute mark. Uh, again, big shout-out, big thank you to UNC Fester, Chris and Max. Check them out. One of the best card-ripping channels you'll find out there on YouTube. Uh, thanks for hitting my PC so hard. Love this Morgan Ryan. Love this Morgan Ryan press proof card. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry about the length of the video, but once in a while, you got to do what you got to do. All right, YouTube, I'll catch you all later. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.